Scotland. And we're going to be heading out through these islands here. Yeah, we sure are, Alan. This is one of those huge ferries oh, again with about six well? floors. They're holding oh, tons of boats in the car. And we are starting in Brisbane on the Gotland Island in Sweden. Here's Gordon on his boat. And there's Ian. And Alan's on the back of our two-seater bike. And all that's missing right now is the mummy. Here I come, guys. Let's go. This being, we decided to stop our bikes and take a little rest. We have a beautiful park here. With ducks and pigeons and a nice fountain here's Alan who loves riding on the back of the bike with me and Paul Alan looks so cute he loves those ducks and pigeons there's a nice playground there this is the most beautiful town. Yes, love! Sure, you want to go to the playground? Go ahead! There's the playground they want to go to right there. Thanks chasing the pigeons. Oh, they love chasing those pigeons. Going over to the playground. And this is the view. Here's the park. This is an ancient medieval city. And you can see the old walls of the city. And the hotel we're staying at is um, from medieval ages. It's just been quite something. This is the old wall that surrounds the city. We're still at the park in the distance. Here they have huge chess board and kids love to play.
together with black coloring. It's black. Duh. Boys, this is our last full day on Gotland Island here. Because tomorrow we've got, got to leave. Uh, gotta go to Gotland. Gotta so, go to pee. What do you think about the island, huh? Great. The best island I've ever been to. Is it? Better than Hawaii? Yeah. What, why do you th say it was better than Hawaii? Uh, it's colder! Uh-uh. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh-uh. Why do you like it? There's, There's more, more ice cream here. stores! Yeah, here we are in mid-summer. Wearing our sweaters. Hey, you know that hey in, in um, Stockholm? Uh-huh. Um, it exploded! In, in that motel, I would hate, I would hate to wear that Viking hat for winter in Nashville. Yeah. Gordon, your turn. I hope you didn't get that on tape. This thing just exploded. No, I didn't get the explosion of the ice cream. <laughs> you can just see the after effects around your mouth. Here. <laughs> Gordon, your turn to talk. Alan, your turn to talk. Uh, Alan, let me peel the paper down some more for you. <laughs> oh, he's going to eat the... He's already eaten the paper. He's already eaten the paper. He's enjoying this ice cream, though. Yeah, and the paper. <laughs> there you go, Alan. <laughs> ah, tape is very... <laughs> here, Alan. Look at these beautiful birds up here. I thought you were going to say face. Like you have a beautiful face up there. att de tvingades riva ner ett stycke av sin stadsmur för att markera underkastelsen. Och så tog danskarna in tretton man i bredd. När man gör ut muren igen så satte man dit tretton tinnar på det murställe som varit neddrivet. Det berättas alltså så, och det är kanske sant. Efter det att ringmuren med torn och tårtar fungerat som försvarsanläggning i morgon det är mycket att tänka på när man ska ta sig in eller ut genom tårtarna. Är det inte körförbud? Länge, men det drar ingenting. Slottet revs år 1679. Vi åker nu längs den gamla inre hamnen 
Dagens stora färger ligger i ett modernt hamnområde som faktiskt är utbyggt i Östersjön, söder om oss och bakom oss. Här inne finns det kvar hamnkort. Hamnen leder in och stadsnur ett stort antal små portar. Vi ska fara in genom en av dem, Fiskaporten, hundra botaniska trädgården som vi ska passera. Vi åker ut till stranden igen genom ett så kallat murfall. Ståtliga men vindfinade träd. Längre norrut kommer vi till lasarettet och uppe i backarna finns det minnen från äldre tiders sjukvård. Där ligger Sankt Görans ruin, en gång sjukhus. Well, now I'm warm. How about you? I'm the warm. Now I am. Now I am. I am. I am. I am. Huvudportar. Hamnen var ju på sitt sätt en port mot västen. Och så fanns det österport och söderporten för ringhuren för gravar. Nordergravar, östergravar och södergrag. Insamling pågår. Här innanför muren ligger stadens högsta del, Klimten. Där var bebyggelsen under medeltiden ganska gles. Där fanns bara en enda kyrka. Det andra låg ner. En kyrka för den viktigaste köpansgruppen, den tyska. De hade en Sankta Maria också i ruinen när Lübeckarna stormade Visby Pingstdagen 1525. Snart därefter kom reformationen och munkarna lämnade sina kloster. Det fanns ingen av ikron kvar med vars hjälp man kunde reparera och bygga upp igen. Det fanns inte 